Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I want to just do a quick update on the on the how far is the moon clip I did yesterday for a couple reasons you'll see when you watch the clip. So, um, and I switched the Aristarchus crater, and as many folks know, um, I did a clip on this that shows if you do an image search for Aristarchus crater, you will be hard pressed to find two images that look alike. So here we go. Okay, so I wanted to update the how far is the moon clip for a few reasons. Uh, a lot of the reason is because of the questions. People are confused because I put up a clip that says the moon is an illusion, and that is where I am at, and I know it's a lot to take in. Uh, many people have not read the Russian documentation, which is completely understandable. I know it isn't easy. Um, even going through multiple translations, it's it's a bit of work, and then even at that, you know, you're you're almost certain that there are certain words that are not translated correctly. There may be even words in Russian. I know there are in German um, that just don't translate well into English. Having said this, when I announced that I believe that what we're looking at when we look up at the moon is a projection of some sort and possibly has something behind it, um, people got confused because I used the word illusion. What I am saying is there is a thing you see there and there is a distance to that thing, but there is a bit of maybe a facade is a good way to describe it, uh, is what I believe we are seeing. Having said that, I'm going to update the thought experiment too, because as I was out yesterday looking at the full moon, I realized that the only eagle-eyed people at the right phase where the shadows are just right are ever going to see Menelaus. So what I did was I chose the Aristarchus crater, which is a well-known naked eye object. So here I've put it in white because Aristarchus is white. I'll measure what I've done real quick here for you. Um, it's roughly 40-some miles across, and you can see that red ring in the middle is the old crater size that I used uh, for Menelaus. Now, this is quite a bit bigger than the actually the crater is, and the reason I'm doing that is because in certain views, the white that you see around Aristarchus, uh, excuse me, Aristarchus goes beyond the crater edge. So let's just do the same experiment real quick. We'll go up. Um, that's the roughly the same size as the white mass you see. We're at 40,000 feet. The moon is roughly six times further away, and you can barely detect a tiny dot down there. So there's the same thought experiment. Okay, and so here is the Wikipedia entry that tells you that Aristarchus is in fact a naked eye object. Um, it gives the distance for the crater. You'll notice that I made my measurement of the crater a bit bigger um, just because I know that the white area that you see goes out a bit beyond the crater. So there it is. There's the update on that portion. Okay, also I would like to mention that if you use Google Plus to comment on my clips, um, I cannot comment back to you. I do not use Google Plus. Um, I will never be using Google Plus. And uh, I see a lot of comments that I'd like to say something to, but I, I just can't. Um, but moving forward, as far as the moon being an illusion, uh, it is a lot to absorb. It's where I'm at. And uh, you shouldn't accept what I tell you just because I've told you that I think it's correct. You should look into it. Um, consider the things that are being said. A lot of people consider that I used the Russian research as proof, and that's not the case. What I did is I had confirmation on many levels, but none of it could go public. So when I read the Russian stuff and everything about the lunar wave in the Russian stuff lines up perfectly with what I had come to know and is actually quite a bit more specific, um, that is why I used it. Having said that, there is so much in that Russian research that, I'm, frankly, I don't know how you would ever vet it if you were not in a position to be in the know about things. I mean, it talks about other beings from other places. It talks about science that is so high-minded um, you know, I don't know how you get there. Um, all the stuff about octaves, it's all very interesting, and it does relate to some ancient teachings that people are aware of, and a lot of Gnostic people are actually commenting on this. But, so there it is. I just want to be perfectly clear. I do believe the moon is an illusion, the part we see, a projection, and it does have a distance from us, and I am reasonably sure there is something behind that, which is a control system. So just to be upfront about it, there it is. And I think the next few clips are going to be just typical crow clips, and uh, I'm going to back off and let this settle in a bit. I know it's been a bit much, but 
you know it'll live or live or die by the rules of truth if i am wrong then it will be exposed as flat wrong at some point and i will accept that um if it has some truth to it then it should survive and become something else at some point so uh, it's not an easy thing to do to say the things that i've said believe me i understand so there it is Okay, as always in closing, uh, please join me on the examiner. Um, I have yet to get a single article out to Google News, which is, I guess, the equivalent of what mainstream has become. And that was my goal, is to see if I could write about the things that I have an interest in that don't get covered much and get out to the mainstream. I came close with this article. Um, and you'll notice I choose my words quite carefully. Um, you know, you have to write in a way that this stuff will be allowed to float and you have to write in a way where you're also addressing the things that you think truly matter. It's not an easy thing to do. And my next article, I am going to try as hard as I can again to see if I can get it approved for Google News. So we'll see what happens. Part of this is, you know, how popular what I write is. But there it is. And cheers.